Of course, many people remember exactly where they were on that Tuesday, 9-11. A Columbia Assisted Fire Chief not only remembers those details, but remembers the immediate impact the events of the day made on his profession. News 19's Emily Carell with the story. Because the world changed that day. Assistant Columbia Fire Chief Christopher Kipp has been a firefighter for 25 years. He remembers September 11, 2001 distinctly. As most firefighters do, we have second jobs. I went to my second job as a, a carpenter assistant, and we were up on scaffolding, putting up siding on a house, when the gentleman we were working for came out, and I remember his hands were down at his side, and he looked dumbfounded, and he said, a, a airliner had struck one of the Twin Towers. Kip says he and some other firefighters he was working with found a television and began watching the events unfold. And it was a feeling of disbelief, lack of comprehension. He says that over those days, they found out that many emergency workers died and many were firefighters. The firefighting profession is, is more than a job and it's more than a vocation. It's, it's a life, it's a calling. Firefighters care about each other and shockingly hard when some of the, the film footage came where there were bodies falling from buildings. And at the same time, there was footage of firefighters in their gear walking up to the building. Kip said the community change was instantaneous. But that day, and for many months after, it was more than that. Um, uh, citizen, uh, the public would salute us driving down the road. And I remember, uh, I remember responding to a medical call and, and coming down to my knees to, to be close to the patient and find out what was going on. And it was an elderly woman. Who, um, <clears throat> who could barely breathe. And what she said to me was, thank you for what you do. In the 20 years since that fateful day, many things changed. Bomb threats were taken more seriously, poisonous lung inhalation was reviewed, and things they never thought would happen were considered. Now in the fire service and law enforcement and, and the EMS, weapons of mass destruction is part of standard curriculum and, and is, is, is part of ongoing training. There's a whole culture in our, in our nation and world geared toward that. Before, it was a, a, a side note in a textbook. Kip said the profession itself was changed forever. It reinforced something that all firefighters know, and that is we can never assume and we can never become complacent. That we always have to be prepared for the worst case scenario. And, and that is professionally what we do. I'm Emily Carell, News 19, WLTX.